New at 6, a West Dallas man is now charged in two separate murders in Kenosha and Racine counties. Michael Cena appeared in court today on the new charges. Ricky Mitchell joins us now with how police connected the two cases. Charles and Shannon, according to court documents, police say bullet casings from both crime scenes were fired from the same gun. Police also discovered video evidence and DNA linking Michael Cena to the crimes. Michael Cena appeared in court today, now a suspect in two murders within one month of each other. According to a criminal complaint, investigators say last September, Cena shot and killed a man near 16th and Holmes in Racine. Investigators found a video of the shooting that shows the victim shot by someone in a blue Ford Focus and later learned that Cena drives a similar car. This scenario essentially amounts to just a in execution. Witnesses also told investigators that Cena confessed to the killing, saying he dropped that dude in Racine and that he did it because he was a Latin king. He was recently charged with another homicide in Kenosha County. Less than a month earlier, Cena also allegedly shot and killed a father of three in Kenosha, who interrupted a robbery in progress at his neighbor's home. A similar blue Ford Focus was seen in the area shortly after the crime happened. Police also found a glove at the scene with Cena's DNA. The state's asking for a $500,000 cash bond. Mr. Cena has a very violent criminal record. And that judge did set a $500,000 cash bond. Michael Cena will be back in court on the Racine case in early November. His trial in the Kenosha case is set to start in February. Live in the newsroom, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. All right, Ricky, thanks.